as usual, are buzzing around New Jersey. And since we have National Ice Cream Month coming up, we thought, let's talk to the people who actually make the ice cream. And we're at Arctic Ice, which is located in Trenton, New Jersey. Trenton Ewing Border. Trenton Ewing Border, of course. And I just want to welcome you to the show. So tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Tom Green, owner of Arctic Ice Cream in Trenton, New Jersey. And this is a family-owned business. How many years has your family owned and operated this business? 85 years. That's just a couple. (laughs) Yeah, a few. So the process of making ice cream, um, you know, we went and we did a little tour. So kind of tell us, like, the process and where you get your milk from and all that fun stuff. Well, we get an ice cream mix made to our specifications from uh, Pennsylvania Dutch country. And then once it goes into the vat, then um, it goes through a process with, you, I guess you add your flavors? Yeah, we just, when it comes in, it comes in in the tanker truck, we put it in refrigerated tanks, and from there we pump it over to a flavor vat and flavor it, whatever, if it's mint chocolate chip, obviously you put mint, mint flavoring in, and uh, from there it goes from the flavor tank into the freezer and turned into ice cream, in the, it's like a soft serve, and then it goes into the hardening room, which is... 20 below and hardens in the hard ice cream from there. Yes, we were in the hardening room and it was very cold. <laughs> you were a trooper. <laughs> so let me, um, now for the for our listeners, and you know, and they're also seeing the, the photos that we took, um, you guys serve and prepare ice cream, make ice cream for a lot of places down the Jersey Shore. Yeah, quite a bit down the Jersey Shore. Seaside area, Long Beach Island, you know, all up and down the not not as far as Wildwood, but from there up to Rumson and local businesses that, you know, sell ice cream. Yeah, so when you see or you go to a place that says homemade ice cream, chances are that they may, but chances are that it comes right here from this Ewing Trenton area, right? <laughs> it's definitely possible. I mean, some people uh, advertise that they sell Arctic ice cream because it's a known brand, especially down like Long Beach Island area. But uh, some people do, you know, comes in just a plain carton, and some people do say it's their own homemade ice cream, sure. And you sell in some of the grocery stores. Where can people get your ice cream? Because I had the raspberry, and it was friggin' delicious. <laughs> well, Marazzo's uh, in Ewing carries our ice cream. A couple of mom-and-pop uh, places, uh, Pete's and Phil's in Allentown, New Jersey. But Or you can come right here and buy it. Not, not all that many places carry it, actually. Yeah, because making ice cream, and I just saw the process of which everyone is now looking at. Um, It's, you know, you can't just make an ice cream in the back of a small boutique store, but yet it's still homemade. Now, what are some of the hot flavors this year? Well, one of the hottest ones for the last couple of years has been a flavor we call Jersey Shore, which is just vanilla ice cream with caramel, but the caramel has sea salt in it. We also make a chocolate version called Midnight Jersey Shore with the same thing, but chocolate based and has brownies. So who comes up with these concoctions? Uh, I do, and I just, if something sounds, like we make one called Elvis I came up with. It's half peanut butter, I mean it's half uh, banana ice cream, half chocolate ice cream with peanut butter ripple. <laughs> well, that's a tough job. <laughs> hmm, what kind of flavors can we make? And then you, how do you test them out? Well, that's pretty obvious. You, you try it. <laughs> but as far as like the consumer, do you just give some stuff to the your key stores yeah we put it out there you know they'll buy a a can or two of it and uh if they like it they they buy more if if it's a flavor that you know not so good it will you know carry it for a while and then you know just keep the more popular ones like peanut butter is our most popular yeah i know and that was something you guys came up with right tell you truth that it's been going on so long i don't know who came up with it i mean we've been making it forever but i don't know if we came up with it no can't can't lay claim to that so we were looking at the process of how everything went and then in the back room where the machine that functions tell us a little bit about that the red machine oh okay (laughs) Uh, it's an old ammonia compressor and that's what actually handles the refrigeration uh, properties of the ice cream freezer and that's from the either the late 40s or early 50s that's a called a frick six by six ammonia compressor very old unit still running yeah and you were saying that not only do you have to make ice cream but you also have to be the mechanic for everything because of the machine and stuff right yeah especially that machine in particular because there's not many people that know how to work on ammonia compressors yeah i sure don't (laughs) well listen this is a really awesome business and 
Once again, we have an independent business owner. They're located right in Trenton slash Ewing, right off of Olden Avenue. It's Arctic Ice. They also sell dry ice, blocked ice, crushed ice. So if you're having a party, remember to support local because that's what keeps America strong.